Welcome everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill of Scrubby Quick Designs and today I'm going to talk to you about some changes in Cricut Design Space. They're rolling out a new version, it's 7.2 and it should be showing up anytime now. Mine popped up today. It'll automatically update in Design Space for you so there's nothing you need to do but you're going to notice there's some changes. So when you go in and you click that you're going to start a new project on the canvas you're going to come up to your canvas screen and you're going to notice now they have changed some of the icons over here in the order that they were in and there's a new feature so let me show you what that looks like so the the new button is still up here the template button had just has a new icon the projects are listed still there but they are those are the pre-designed projects in design space um, but they got a new icon and then shapes is listed still with the little triangle in the circle except that it's up higher on this on the menu selection now okay it used to be a little bit lower images also received a new icon so now it looks like a little um, hot air balloon uh, as opposed to um, the picture with the mountains on it that was there before. The text also has a new icon, um, but it's the same text feature. But you're going to notice there is a new icon here, and this is for phrases. So I'm going to show you about phrases here in a minute. It's a great new feature for you to have access to phrases in Design Space quicker and faster. And then you're going to notice down here, the last one, as usual, is the upload button, but it looks completely different. It's got a little dash line and an up arrow as opposed to the one that looked like a cloud with an arrow. So those are the changes of what the icons look like on the left hand menu right now. But let's take a look at the new one, and that is phrases. So we're going to click on phrases. and this is going to give you easy access to Design Space Library of pre-designed phrases. So you'll just select the new icon like I just showed you, and then there's all these filters here that you can apply to help you search for the right phrase that you want for your project. So you can filter if you just want to see all the free ones, we can do that. And there's 62 free ones in there right now. And of course, Cricut changes that off and on, uh, depending upon what they're giving you for free. We're going to click off of that. And you, any that you've saved that you like, you can certainly do that. That's that little flag here if you want to save an image. Let's say you're doing a search and you're trying to find a phrase that you like. And you're, you've got a few. So... You'll click on that and now it turns to green. See how it changes to green, the little banner flag. Now if I go into saved images up here, it's going to pull any that I have saved. All right, so I have already been in there looking at some and I have saved these four phrases. All right, so that's a good thing. Like if you're doing a search and you're going to look through, you know, the 29,000 phrases as you see ones that you would like to use on projects, hit that save button and then be able to go back in here into the filters under the phrase icon and be able to pull all those up. That'll just make it a lot faster for you to get to them. So we're going to take that off. There's also operation type here. And we're going to click on operation so you can do the ones that are cut now Cricut has changed also in a previous version update in case you didn't notice Cricut has changed the icons here where it has like the description for that particular project this is on all of the images in design space so now if you want it if you want to know that it's a cut project cut only you, you'll that's the scissors so if you only wanted to cut an image it's here. If you want to draw an image, you would find the ones that have the little pencil drawing line. If you want to print and cut image, you would find ones that have a printer next to them here. Okay. And then if you want it to cut and draw, so that means it's going to cut the image and it's also going to write with the pens, then you would put, pick the cut and draw image. Okay. So that's how the operation type works. You can also select layers. So let's look at layers. So layers is going to let you 
pick if you want it to be a single layer or if you want it to be a multi-layer image. So I'm going to pick multi. So up here, notice we've got 29,627 phrases that are populated in the phrase icon at the moment. When I click multi, it's going to go through and it's going to search through all of those and it will come up and show you the ones that have more than one layer to them. Okay, so there's a ton of them in here. There's a bunch of them. You know, you can scroll through and see. The other thing is you can also type in to search all the phrases what it is you're looking for. So let's say we're looking for a birthday phrase. Okay, and then you'll click the little search thing. Now it's going to go through and look at all of those that were multi layers that are birthday images. Okay, so here's all the birthday ones. You can go through here and now favorite the ones that you want to use, possibly on birthday cards or birthday shirts or birthday projects of any kind. All right, the other thing is you can pick materials. Okay, so they've lit, Chris, Cricut's listed some here, like if these, if they're made particularly for iron-on projects, uh, a lot of the images can be used on any type of materials, uh, but if you're looking for something specific, you could do the search here, okay, the filters. You also, because Design Space is coming out in more and more countries, you can also search by language. So let's say you wanted to find all the ones that were, I'll just pick Spanish. So I've got phrases, I've searched for birthday, and now I'm gonna search for Spanish. Let's see what it does. There were 237 phrases, and it's taken a second, and voila! Now it has given me all the birthday phrases that are multi-layer, which means more than one layer, and they are in Spanish, okay? So it is so easy to be able to do this and change it up. You can also look at ownership. Ownership means if it was an image that you uploaded to Design Space or it's ones that you purchased. Now purchased will give you, let me show you that, these were purchased. It will tell you that these were purchased. I, now we're going to do this. And if you have marked any of these available for offline, you can also pick that, that you downloaded them so that they're available for offline. That's a whole nother thing. We're not going to get into offline today. But um, I wanted to show you how easy it is to do your searches. Okay, so we're going to, I clicked off multi and then I just still have birthday typed in up here. And this is going to show me that there's 374 phrases just for birthdays. All right, so this is the um, new version 7.2. It's rolling out right now is when I'm making this video. So if you don't have it right now, you should have it in the next few days. But this is a really neat thing for you to be able to get to phrases quicker than we used to, to be able to sort through them and they're right here handy in your left hand menu. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm always happy to answer questions about Design Space. If there's a video that you would like me to make about Design Space, leave a comment. I always am looking for new things to show you. All right, uh, come join us over in the Let's Learn Cricket Design Space Facebook group and happy crafting.